Hello, all my hypotheticals. It's Player Two. I'm here with Star of Wisdom, Traposer, and Connor, and we're bringing in another episode of the Heart Gold Soul Silver Team Lock. And and boy, howdy! I really hope this Groudon doesn't keep critting me. What's a lava <laughs> plume? Oh my god! That's uh, a strong move. Uh, too bad it only did one damage, but it burned me. No. Ah. It started to rain. What? What? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. From Does Lava, Lava Plume, Plume make it rain? I think that must be coded to. in with Lake of Rage. Oh, yeah, maybe Lake of Rage, like, makes it rain if it if it goes long enough or something. I don't know. Right, Pokeball, go! Very interesting how to get through Mount Mortar. This is, uh... Anyway, uh, Connor's got a topic today. Oh, so God. Yeah, do that's that. right. That's how this works. Uh... <laughs> okay. Um... All right, well, I mean, I mentioned this at the end of the episode, and then no one said anything, so I'm going to do it again. Yes, um, right, we had, to, we had to pause quickly, so yes. <laughs> yeah, you had to pause quickly. Jupiter. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, like, hey, hey. No, 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 uh, what, damn what it, we, no! How have we been gaming lately? What games have we been gaming with? <laughs> well, the, the thing that I keep doing, oh god, I just blew up. Wait, this is an encounter. It's, oh, it's a hippopotamus. It sounds like something of Zax has died. I accidentally water pulsed when I wanted to recover. Oh, no. <laughs> that's a that's oh. rip. No, I wanted that crowd on so bad. Oh, no. Dang. That's, that's I, tragic. I, I hate this game. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. I lost both my Arcanines to bullcrap. Lelouch got water pulsed by a Kyogre in the rain. And now I... Oh. Guys, no. we're doing great. We're doing great. <laughs> Everything's fine. No. The way I to look up a map of Mount Mortar is that cheating. You um. can... You oh. can go ahead. I don't. I don't care. I don't know it's, how to do this. I'll, I'll tell you. You pretty much just have to go straight right. Oh. What? You, you go straight right. If you if you go if you can't go right, you On go up. Outside? On the outside of the thing. Um, yes, outside no. of the cave. No, you go in the cave and then you like go up and then right and then down. Okay. So, okay. That's there's a little thing ladder going down. No, not down to another level. Um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I mean, isn't there like a little opening that goes up and then you just go straight right? No. Yeah, anyway, sorry, I'll figure this out. That yeah. is unfortunate, Zach. <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> that That is unfortunate. A Groudon would have been cool for the thumbnail. It had hammer. It also would have been good for the team. It would have been good for the team, too. Right? So, also... I'm gonna level with you. I'm pretty sure that was my Entei or Raikou encounter. Really? In Lake of Rage? Because the other Pokemon in Lake of Rage are level 12, and that mm, was a level that 20 Groudon. Interesting. Although, I don't think... It's not It's not like the, the, the Raikou and Entei counters count separately, because they just show up in the grass normally. They're just an extra thing that could appear I, in the route. I know, but, but it, but it yeah. just means that was probably the guaranteed legendary I'd eventually run into. Yeah, maybe. And Let me just <laughs> check something here. No, not that. What do I name this Hippopotas? Pokey Gear. I think I already nope. have a Pohatu. Entei and Raikou are apparently still somewhere. Yeah. I'm gonna just name it Pohatu because I'm probably never gonna use it. How do I get to this stupid Gyarados? Pohatu, boil them, stick them, stick them. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Anyway, um, Connor. Yes, sorry, Con go. Connor's point. I I have my my game that I have been mostly playing, and uh, it is Exit the Gungeon. Oh yeah, because because Jupiter is gonna do awesome games done quick with with uh, <laughs> exit the gun time. So I guess since the last time that we recorded, I mean this is within the past month or two, um, I I actually got the world record for exit the gungeon. Um, I beat the previous record by I think about thirty seconds, but then just within the past week, the person who I beat uh, beat mine by twenty seconds. So, Damn. I am currently fighting tooth and nail to reclaim that. 
Um, I got within 10 seconds of it, which means I beat my previous record by 10 seconds, but it wasn't fast enough. Um, so, yeah, basically, long story short, that is the game that I am just playing almost nonstop right now, besides my normal amount of insane Pokemon competitive stuff. Um, it's Exit the Gungeon. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, that is determination. Commitment, but even. I know it's possible. Like, I just I just know it's possible. I actually think that the fastest... So the world record right now is, like, 1357. So it was, like, kind of a big thing that this person got it under 14 minutes. Um, I think that, theoretically, it should be possible to beat the game in under 12 minutes. So, like, with enough luck and enough skill, I should be able to beat this next record, but... What are those... AI called that they put in games. Uh, they... the task bots. Yeah, yeah. And then they like do a perfect run. Yep. Like, could you potentially? I just ran into a Rayquaza. I'm pretty sure I can like, only catch set up one Pokemon one in Mount Mortar. Yeah, yeah. T <laughs> set up a a test thing. Um, no one watched my recording for the past minute. No one watched my screen for the past <laughs> Well, minute. now you Don't know rewind. that's gonna be what everyone was watching for the Don't past Don't rewind. Minute. Don't rewind. <laughs> Nothing happened. Everything's fine. <laughs> um, I think, Ace, what you're saying about them setting up a task bot, I yeah. think that the challenge with that is that because X the, the Gungeon is a run that relies a lot on luck, yeah. Right. But what, what if you mm -hmm. what if you set it so that, like, it'd get all the ideal items? Like, Well, I mean... Yeah, but then that's not really a speed run anymore. Right, but then it's potential. What I'm saying is, like, it could provide a a benchmark of like how fast could this be? Yeah, but I don't even know if you can program because most tool assisted speed runs are for um, it's like you're manually coding in the movements of the character. At least that's my <laughs> understanding of it. It's like for platformers like Mario, where every enemy and every obstacle is going to be in the same spot every time if you make the same moves. Hmm. Yeah. Like my understanding is that then based on knowing that everything is static you can put the optimal movement for each of those obstacles with gungeon like enemy placement is random and the item that you get is random and the move the movement you have so many movement options although that's probably not the issue but i don't know i, right, I just right, right. i'm i'm not familiar i don't think that a task bot would work but i could be wrong i might not have a full understanding of how they yeah i think do. the last task run that i saw was uh um Someone had set up a task for Celeste. Uh huh. And that was that was yeah. just madness. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> I've seen that. It's, it's dumb. It <laughs> the moves that you can do in Celeste are insane. <laughs> wow. But yeah, Gungeon. So Zach, what, what games have you been playing, game? Zach? <laughs> the only two encounters in this lake are Groudons on Tyranitars. And I threw it <laughs> away Dang. by accidentally clicking Water Pulse. Yep. Yeah, those I'm... are solid encounters. Tears I actually didn't are see welling what my in my eyes. Were. I don't know if this is going to make you feel any better, but my encounters in Mount Mortar are Rayquazas and Hound Dooms, and I caught a Rayquaza. No, I'm kidding. I caught a Venomoth. Venomoth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Incredible. My. My. My static encounters to a, a Nidoran. Shiny Nidoran, though. <laughs> Words cannot express how sad I am. <laughs> Shockwave? No, I want Thunderwave. So I might just end up killing this thing. I think Thunderwave just paralyzes, right? <laughs> yeah, I want Thunderwave. Okay. Not Shockwave. Um... Hey, shiny Nidoran, survive a shockwave for me, bud. Isn't it a ground type? Uh, maybe. I don't think it is yet. It's just poison. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. It's pure poison. So, Jupiter, your top game of the recent is Exit the Gungeon. Yeah, that's like the... I mean, I've continued doing competitive Pokemon, and I've played a fair bit of Age of Calamity, but, like... The, the game that I have been invested in in my free time, not for like recording or just stuff that I would be playing anyway. It's it's Gungeon. Okay. 
I'm interested in looking into nice. learning the Enter the Gungeon speedrun, but I think that's a lot more difficult mm. compared to Exit the Gungeon. Is it just longer? A longer game? I, I think it's longer, yeah. And I feel like there's more variables, too. Which just makes it even more random. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. There, there might, it might be... I think there's also more categories for Enter the Gungeon. So. Right. More competitive. Potentially, potentially. yeah. Alright, well, uh, I suppose I can go. I have... So, I mean, I don't really... There's not a whole lot of games that I that I play. I I, I tend to get really uh, obsessed with a game for a while and then kind of drops off and mm -hmm. how frequently I play it. But I play a lot of Rocket League. Um, not even so much anymore because uh, our Wi-Fi is horrible and I can't <laughs> play. Um, and that's unfortunate. You mean because... playing with like 700 ping is not is not good <laughs> in Rocket League? Uh, yeah, you would you'd think, but um, <laughs> it's even worse than that. Uh, yeah, I, and that's unfortunate because I if I could be playing Rocket League, I would I would play it all the time. I would probably record it. I would probably stream. Um, it's uh, yeah. Yep. Um, Dude, shout out to then, Thomas. <laughs> um and then i play risk of rain 2 i've been playing that a lot with friends and uh that's a really really fun game everybody should play that i think and if you're yeah. unfamiliar with the risk of rain it, it was Rain 2 it's a um third person shooter roguelike uh stage based where the difficulty increases with time there's boss at every, the end of every stage and it just gets absurdly hard. Yep. Yeah. I'd probably get more into Risk of Rain. Well, the, the game that I really want to get more into that I've been meaning to play more of for a long time is Hades. But I just haven't had the chance to really get invested in it. Yeah. But yeah, I, H Hades is on my list for sure. I told Jared about that game around the same time when I told you and Zach about that game. Uh -huh. I think Jared has 500 hours in that game now. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> 500 hours? Like, yes, 500. That, that's yep. how many hours I have in seven days to die. And I've been playing that sophomore year. I know, yep. I know. Yep. It's, it's <laughs> madness. <laughs> uh, um, that's a lot. Yeah. I was just like, I looked at that and I was like, this can't be right, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you, know, well, you know what Jared does, though, is he tends to leave things running just open. He does a lot. That. That's true. That's true. So it's very possible that it just sat open on the switch for. It's two. also possible he's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Jared, no, the game great, that I knew he played homework. a lot was um, what's what's the game with the it's like the card game uh, tower. No, uh, Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire. Yeah, thank you. He played that a lot and recommended that to me, and I still haven't tried that either, but that is also on my list. I have lots of games on my list, but instead I just keep trying to get stupid speedruns. <laughs> Blaziken can learn Aqua Jet. Hell, what? yeah, because it's random. TMs are random. Oh, TM compatibility is random. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Fancy. That is... That's rad. I like that. Cinequil, you all for fighting a Venusaur oh, that's like seven levels higher than you? Good luck. This Rotom is getting beaten by a Crobat. It's really annoying. <laughs> no, Rotom. No! Mm, you know what? No, I'm not up for that. I've gotten Sweet flinched Rotom. so many times. All right, well, well, Zach, we... Third gym down. Yeah, <laughs> zero it. points. Thanks for putting me to sleep, Venusaur. <laughs> I can't get um, out. Zero points. So nice. we're just talking about games we've been playing recently, like nothing else. That was that was just how I wanted to start this, yeah. Yep. Okay. Um. Well, as you know, Connor, you and I have been playing a bit of COD, uh, the new uh, Cold War game. A wee bit. Um, a little bit. Um, not as much as I, I think I would have liked, but uh, we, we, we still do it. I play a good deal of Smite, and I pretty much play any game. I, I've tried to limit myself to games that I'm only playing for videos and or games that I'm only playing with friends. 
So mm. that includes Among Us, Seven Days to Die, uh, Siege, Overwatch, stuff like that. Um, Who's so your main I, Overwatch? I mean, I've I've barely played. I, <laughs> I suck compared to like everybody I play with because I play with Mark and those guys. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. But um, I'm. I think my best games have been with either uh, Diva or uh, Reinhardt. Okay. So tank player. Yeah, it's because it's because like no one signs up to be a tank, so I'm just like, I mean, if I'm gonna suck in anything, I might as well suck in the the thing that no one wants to play. Um, suck and be able to just like soak up damage for other people. That's always yeah. a feels good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Don't you look at me, Septile. My favorite thing to do is just charge with Reinhardt off the map with somebody. It's just not <laughs> worth to do, but it's so much fun. Oh, they switched. Ooh. Look at this Reinhardt big is the brain. Fall guys of Overwatch. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing you worth repeating. <laughs> okay, is Reinhardt the gorilla? No. No, that's Winston. Okay. Who's Reinhardt? He's the like knight with the the hard light shield. Okay, you sure. got a deployable shield and a rocket hammer. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I don't play Overwatch, but I I did for a while, and I got really really uh -huh. into it. And I I know all the characters pretty much. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. I know all the Overwatch characters, <laughs> but I never play the game. I'm not like hey, other look at me, gamers. big brain Asa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play video games, but I learn everything Actually, there is about them. Follow up question on this: If if you were going to speed run a game, like pick a game and actually invest all the time that it would be, like the excessive amount of time that it takes to become like the best speedrunner at, which game would you want to have the speedrun world record in? No question. No question. The Ice Age Scrat's Nutty Adventure. No question. <laughs> Cause see, what's the record for that? I it is fast. I know it was run at AGDQ. I know it's fast. They've got is the thing. RNG, is it RNG based or precision based? That's precision based. That's absolutely. So you could precision. do it. Yeah, you could get mm -hmm. it. And if it's a fast run, like that's the nice thing about short runs is that if it's I mean if it's like a five minute run or something, yeah, you're investing a lot of time learning it. But then when it comes down to actually performing the runs, it's not like you're. It's not like you're going to spend an hour and then realize, eh, that's not a record, you know? No, I, I mean, 100%. It would be like Ice Age Scrat's Nutty Adventure. It'd be like Sonic 06. This guy has a Moltres. That's something. <laughs> um, uh, No, it would be it would be like one of those like just super nonsensical games. And uh -huh. that would, yeah, that would be it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, probably Super Mario 64 for me. Oh like, god. Uh, then I'd be oh, Super Mario 64 is... I'd be famous if I'd have well. a platform. <laughs> Asa, have you played it? Have you played this... the new version? No. <laughs> well, wait, like, the in the, like, anniversary edition or whatever? Yeah. Oh, no. I, so, yeah. so, I've actually been playing that. That's one of the games that I've been playing because, like, you know, my thing is, like, if I, if I, like... Because you know, I I live with my wife, and I'm I try to be I try to be considerate, and you know, if she's like uh, if she's in the room, I try to not take up the entire TV like a, a piece of garbage, um, and so I'll just like play games on on my Switch, right? Sure. Um, and uh, the one that I started with the Switch has been uh, Super Mario sixty four. And my god, that camera <laughs> is a mess. Like, that yeah, camera really is bad. so bad. Worse than the original. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like, like, so one of the first games that I completed, that I fully completed, was, uh, was a movie game. It was the Brave movie game that was free on Games for Gold uh, on Xbox. Mm. And that game, working with that camera was literally like pulling out teeth and this camera is worse. <laughs> I was this just, like, is, I didn't, I didn't this think is pulling was, out teeth and replacing them with dentures. I didn't think that was possible. I thought like literally I was just like 
I was playing through that Brave game on the hardest difficulty, and I'm like, I'm doing blind jumps because this camera apparently can't move. And... <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, no, it's like... Like, just the floatiness of Super Mario 64 combined with the camera just yeah. not helping you at all yeah. is just, mm -hmm. like, it's it's so it's so difficult. You can tell it was the first 3D game. <laughs> yeah. Not the no, first one. No, not, not seriously. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't be playing uh, Super Mario 64 out of any love for the game. <laughs> because it, gives, it would give me a platform and a... And a recognition that's Maybe true like, you would get <laughs> watch prestige. my rocket league streams <laughs> right that's true there's there's a lot of prestige in in speed running a mario game like that is yeah, that's how you yeah. build an audience is speed running i don't mario. think i know enough about um speed running to really pick a game to do that in i feel like i have had um i mean risk of rain 2 speed runs are pretty insane but mm -hmm. i don't think i'd want to speed run it Yeah, I I really like the idea of speed running, um, uh, roguelikes, just because mm -hmm. I actually I actually like the random component of of that kind of a speed run, where, like I know with first forty to forty seconds to three minutes of a run whether or not it's possible with exit the gungeon, mm -hmm. so it's I don't know, and I I like having to react to to uh, random factors as well even though yeah. most of the time you're just resetting to get optimal ones <laughs> right, oh if i was gonna do fun. this seriously if i was gonna like a committed to a game that i would like love rather than just like a meme speedrun category which is absolutely uh -huh. what i would normally do right um uh, the uh uh banjo kazooie i would love to speedrun yeah. banjo kazooie and there's a huge community for that too which right would be super that's kind of what i thought you were gonna say mm-hmm and Zach. Zach would want to speedrun Heart Gold and Soul Silver. <laughs> <laughs> See, Pokemon speedrunning is the thing that I think would be awful. Because you have the random factor, but it's also suck. so long. It's... Uh, I'd probably try for Halo Reach, honestly. Um, I, 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 I find absolutely no joy in watching or attempting speedruns. So long. I, mm -hmm. I uh, look to each their own, but I don't understand the joy of like, I spent a million hours trying to get good at one game to the point where I got one second faster than some other guy. And two months from now, someone is going to beat my score. So I'll just have to go right back at it again. Ooh, wee. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just think like if you're gonna devote that much time to something, make it make it actually worth it. Um, anybody who does it, really, I'm just saying anybody who does a speed run, they're a, they're an idiot, and I hate them. <laughs> nope. Well, some games just aren't. Here's the thing, like, solo player games, they're not necessarily meant to ever be played competitively. They're meant for your own. Yeah. 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 I get, I, I, I guess I, I get, get that there's, like, a yeah. rush to it, because, like, it's it's essentially if, like, video games were sports, right? Uh -huh. Um, th They would be speedruns. We'd look at speedruns or, like, team death matches. And, mm -hmm. um, because some people just aren't really into, like, PvP kind of situations, and I, I understand that fully. I right. get it. I get that that's... Th there might be a rush to it. I just can't imagine spending so many hours just so that you maybe someday get the world record only for somebody beat you in like <laughs> two months because they were able to watch, watch what you did and they're just a better gamer than you, so they just <laughs> <laughs> execute it better. I um yeah yeah. I I have I, a I, lot I, of fun watching speed runs. I'll, I've even watched people like the same person do the same speed run multiple times just because it's 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 a visually impressive feat to watch not to uh, mention you're watching like, good speed run not to mention like if you're watching like sonic 06 speed runs with a game that's so just incredibly bad and broken like <laughs> some of the stuff you can do and some of the stuff that the speedrunners find and can right. do 
it's just hysterical like it's just like it's just like like abusing the game in a way that was so not intended but the game looking so bad that no one cares anyway is just (laughs) such a funny thing to me and i it's just like like it, yeah, no, that's that's like a part of the reason why it's like I feel like doing speed runs for like meme categories is just so much better. It's mm-hmm. just because like just because like the way like it just becomes so funny just for for everyone involved and yeah. I just love it. Yep. Like have you guys seen the speed run for bug snacks? Oh no god. <laughs> There's just a mountain at the beginning you can just walk over and it skips like the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, beat it. It just you just walk over the mountain and you're like at the last level and you're just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I apologize to Zach's viewers because uh they've all just been watching me. Run around the same parts of Mount Mortar for the past, uh, oh, shoot. who knows how long, who can say. Um, so I need to backtrack and figure yeah. this out. Ace, did you did you go in? So when you first go into Mount Mortar, I've from gone the left, many doors. Right? You go in, you go up through the first the doorway. Left? What? 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 Here. No, you I'm go right up. Forward. <laughs> no, uh, Asa, Asa, you want to go to your left, right corner? And, uh... Yeah, you said right and up, Jupiter, and every time I've done that, I've been forced to go to the left. <laughs> well, then you're not going right. <laughs> you, you, what you have to do, you have to go up to the first thing, take a right, and then go down, and you're out. Like, I literally ran through Mount Mortar lassoed in less than a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not a long path. No, it is. It, I, I swear it is. The first door into Mount Mortar is a small little area surrounded by water. There's another door you, right above 42? it. Yeah, you go up, then there's another door into another section of the cave, and you just take a right. All right, I don't believe you. <laughs> For some reason, you, lying to him, you, Jupiter. you could probably, I mean, you have surfed. You probably could have just surfed across. Across the water? Yeah. You can't. Do, do Wait, you do you need to go? Surf? Do you need to go up a waterfall? No, no, you don't get a waterfall yet. Y- you got um, surf, right? You have surf. Yeah, I have surf. Yep. Okay. No, I, I, literally, I have a different game than you, Jupiter. This is. Um, <laughs> okay, are you the at the entrance to Mount Mortar right now? I am at a entrance. Oh. <laughs> but like, are you outside oh, on no. Route Forty Two? Why am I dumb? Sure. Are, are you actually outside on Route 42? I am or are you just standing saying? outside of an entrance at, at the moment. Okay. ATM, as there, they say. There's like there's like a pool of water to your right. Yep. I think you can literally just surf across that on the outside. Okay, I'm going to do that. Uh, That's did where you I just try that before? From. That's where I just came from. Okay. Um... And then once I get over there, there's another door into Mount Mortar. But then if can you keep going right? I can try. It's, it's going to be better than what I've been doing. For the without past without going hour. inside, can you keep that going That was a pointless right? cave. That was a pointless cave is what that was. I got a Master Ball, but aside from that... Wait, you did? What? <laughs> oh, dang it. I, mean, I got a Master good. Ball, but otherwise it was pointless. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have I would have skipped it if I could have gone back and not gotten the mask roll. Not worth it. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey Zach, means- what did you do today? I accidentally water pulsed a Groudon and killed it. Hey, so what did you do? I wandered around, found a master ball, but that you know that's about it. <laughs> but I lost so much time. You realize that I'm the person you're facing, right, Asa? You realize <laughs> that I'm the other person in the game. Yeah. You, we are rivals. Jupiter's yeah. probably, like, beating the next gym right now, and I'm just, like, I'm still crying over that Groudon, um, honestly. <laughs> I... <sighs> well, well, we'll probably wrap up soon. Um, I'm, I'm Ju- going through a very long segment. Is it the Rocket Cave? Yeah. 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 I'm still yeah. in there. I am very purposely engaging in every fight I can. 
Uh -huh. um, I wanted to level up my Nidoran because a, a shiny Nido King could wreck face. That would be cool. Um, yeah. But it only knows like Poison Sting and like Fury Swipe or whatever. And it's just yeah, like, yeah, that makes it difficult to work with. <laughs> All right, this hiker's mess spread has really given me a run for my money. Are, are you still in a Mount Mortar? A real Morton? tough time, a real uh, egg on the head, you know? Yeah, egg Eat. all over your yeah. face. Yeah. Got him. Hit him with a horn attack. I don't have horn attack. Why am I spending so much time trying to catch this Weavile? Weavile is pretty cool. Yeah, Weavile is pretty cool. Because the points... Because we need the points. <laughs> we kind of do with how I haven't gotten like any encounters, and I I've lost the most Pokemon. So, I mean, okay. I think I'm finally out of Team Rocket. Yes. Damn it! That sucks, son. Oh well. I'm in Mahogany Town now. Yes, that's where you want to go. And then north of oh Mahogany Town is the Lake of Rage. Why no. was I in Mount Mortar? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's hey, not so a very I, long time. <laughs> I appreciate you giving us the pity the the pity episode where you purposefully just like walk around. Hey, the thank ball. you. Hey, no. I, just, like, I probably encountered like 30 Rayquazas just like <laughs> every three steps I would Did you fight them or run away from them? I ran away. Oh, I was gonna say if you had been fighting Rayquazas all yeah. episode, that's a yeah. lot of XP. <laughs> Zach the no, Weavile okay. died because it I got poisoned. Still... <laughs> Damn. I'll still be there. I hate this. I do too. Really? Can we? Let's just let's just have this be the last episode. <laughs> got him. Oh, Whoever's man. got the most points from this episode alone. Actually, it's like it's like golf. Whoever has the least amount of points uh, wins. <laughs> uh, I forgot to tell you that. Um, uh, yeah, just finish up your current fight, and then uh, yeah. we'll call it for today. Um, I gotta, uh, I, you know what? I'm never doing a team lock or a nuzlocke again. That's a lie. I absolutely will do, I think we'll do gen one next. Because, um, because Zach but, doesn't know what's best for him. Zach I was doesn't. wondering, do we, do we want to, cause no, so I do, I just hate myself. Heart Gold and Soul <laughs> Silver has, um, it has the Kanto region after, like it has the whole Kanto region as a post game. Mm -hmm. Like, do we after we finish this? Do we want to do season two and it's first person to beat champion Red? Oh my! Gosh. Uh, we could do that. Alternatively, okay. I'm also down for. Why does every team Rocket Grunt have the same Pokemon? <laughs> I don't. It, it's probably right. this. They all had like a Rattata, and every single time it got, it got um, randomized. randomized well, yeah, well, yeah. It, it works for me because they all have Vespa Queens and Wingles, and my Electivire is nice. all yeah. about that. So That's pretty solid. Um, yeah, I'd be down for that. I'd also be down for doing what I said you and I would do after our, our Nuzlocke, which was do a Pokemon showdown. If there's a way to create yes. the same oh. type of uh, stats for each Pokemon at the right. end of it. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. I agree. All right. I am done. I'm just going to pick up this item. Wow, just... odd incense. Neat. Um, I picked up two power bands in the rocket headquarters, <laughs> which are just completely <laughs> useless. Training. Ah, well, my combuskin died. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> what a That's sad. Bus ding this end is... to the episode. That was this very sad. Why... It this just died to a crit so dig from a diglet. Oh. My bad. I thought this doctor was just someone I could talk to. He's a baddie. Um, all right, let me... Let me kick his butt quick dang that's it. fine i was just running back to, so uh, my to heal my mons anyway i probably should have switched oh, out i never talked about what games i was playing yeah, yeah. do that um yeah while uh -oh. while zach's trying to trying to get caught up um i have so i've been playing uh like i said super mario 64 uh that game is is a lot um the <laughs> it's uh lot. it's just a lot it's a lot yeah. to deal with um, I have been trying to 100% crash one, which has been pain. Um, I have been, uh, I have been playing a little bit of Hollow Knight with Brianna, which has been really, really Ooh. good. Um, cool. 
and and that's been that's been a lot of fun for the two of us. And then I have uh, started playing Ori in the Blind Forest, the the first Ori game, and that game is uh, so pretty. It is so so very pretty, and yeah. and it's a very nice change of pace from like standing or like playing the same bridge level in crash for three hours <laughs> i i just i feel like an honorary bucker at this point honestly <laughs> it's just like i know i hope you guys know how much it means to me to like just Buckle allow me on. to be in in the bucking presence. I just really appreciate it. So thank you. <laughs> of of, hey, well, of it's course. Our, uh, you you are an honorary pleasure. triple buck. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's yeah. Honor, Con exactly. Connor, which, you know which, which part of Jugglebuck are you? I, oh, I, yeah. the Did old, you... the, the old, the old, <laughs> the old, that, 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 that's what Zach is. Zach is the yeah. old. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, man, the, Oh, I'm the ba. Duh. <laughs> oh. You know what? That's fair. Connor is the ba. All right. And with, with that, uh, like, we'll, we're going to leave off here. Thanks, guys, I'm for watching this. Well, might wait, hang on a second. I need a minute because my team is getting wrecked by a nine tails. Why didn't you stop when I said stop? Because, well, because I was already in it before that. Like, this nine tails has been just annihilating me. Dude. I'll just I'll just keep saying thank you over and over again. Uh, I think, thank you. I think I finally thank, got it. I hope, thank this, you. I hope no, these people no, don't have any more. Thank you. Thank. Thank you. Thank you. And you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Every language we know. Valise not be done. Arigato gozai. Okay, I, I got through it. I'm done. Wait, All hang right. on. I'm trying to catch the septile. <laughs> Did you not use the master ball on it? No, I didn't. Because that <laughs> might actually be worth trying to throw the master ball. That was the whole point of doing it, <laughs> and I didn't do it. Hey, said no commitment to the bit. No commitment. I, have, I feel like no I could have faced off against another rocket statue. Um... No, this is all. I'm trying to regain some of the time I wasted this episode. To be frank. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm done. All okay. right. Let's Thanks for watching. Thank you.